Janisha Hari was a highly qualified engineer with a skyrocketing career path when she discovered that her job was affecting her health. This forced her to make some radical changes and rethink her path in life. Today, she's an eco-warrior and she explained how this had come about to Zaki. As a chemical engineer, Jenny Shahari has a far better idea than most of us regarding the chemicals with which we come into contact on a daily basis. She has also become an expert in maintaining a healthy and sustainable lifestyle. In a day and age where the human impact is wreaking havoc on the earth, a new kind of superhero is emerging. Jenny Shahari is an eco-warrior who, like many superheroes, has emerged through adversity. And today I'm spending time with Janisha to find out more about sustainable living. Janisha, so wonderful to meet you. Hi, Zach. How are you? Mwah. What a wonderful space. Isn't it? I absolutely love the refillery. Where does your story begin? I was born in Durban, raised by two wonderful parents, and spent all my life there until I studied and then left home to work. You decided to study chemical engineering. Why did you choose this career path? I chose ChemEng as I liked the idea of turning low-value raw materials into high-value products that improve everyday lives. I also thought it would be an ideal fit for my creative and analytical mind. You fell seriously ill at work. How did you overcome this challenge? After working in the chemical industry for almost 10 years, uh, I fell really ill with an occupational lung disease that was induced by chemical exposure and I left work and took time off from formal employment to give myself the chance to heal given the health challenges that I had experienced. You used alternative methods of healing to get yourself back to optimum health. I turned to alternative healing methods as well as adopting a whole foods, plant-based diet just to give my body the chance to heal. I didn't want to follow a Western medicine approach anymore. I'd been taking medicines for so many months, almost years, and I just felt like my body was just so full of toxins that I wanted to go the natural way. Janisha, why is sustainable living so important in this day and age? Well, we only have one planet. There is no planet B, and this is our home. It's up to us to take care of it, but also the health of the planet is intrinsically connected to our health as well. One of the major threats to our planet's health currently is plastic pollution. Every year, more than 10 million tons of new plastic waste enters our oceans. Of that 10 million tons, more than 40% is actually products that we've only ever used once. No wonder you love the refillery. Well, Zach, as you can see, there is no plastic packaging. Everything is sold in bulk or sold in sustainable containers. You can bring your own containers from home, so empty glass jars and weigh them up first, fill up exactly the amount that you want, weigh again and just pay for what you take. Can you show me around? Yes, of course. Let's go. Zach, let's go get some mung beans. This is exactly how our grannies used to shop. It's the old school way of shopping again, where you just buy exactly what you need, which also helps you to connect with your food and minimize food waste at home as well. Would you like to have a cup of coffee while we chat more? Sure, and I've got some reusable cups for us to use as well. Of course you do. <laughs> what gorgeous reusable cups. Thanks, Zach. They're actually made from bamboo and silicone and they're endlessly reusable. Tunisia, it's not all about the waste we create. Equally as important is what we put on our bodies. The skin is the largest organ in the body and every day in terms of our personal care and beauty products that we use, we don't realize that we're putting a lot of toxins and chemicals into our bodies as well. A lot of beauty products actually contain microbeads as exfoliants, so things like your toothpaste and body scrubs, etc., are literally just filled with microplastics that are designed to just be washed down the drain. So opt for more natural products if you can, read your labels, be aware of what you're using just to live more mindfully, sustainably, but also more healthily for yourself. Thank you. Thank you. Zach, I hope you're hungry because I've got a surprise in store for you. I love surprises. Let's go. Janisha emphasizes the need to be aware of the environmental impact of everyday objects. I mean, I would never have thought about single-use plastics in the form of silly things like earbuds. Exactly. So, sit here. Yeah. Let me help you with this. I'm so excited for the sustainable feast. Isn't it lovely? Thanks. Janisha, isn't this plastic? Actually, Zach, that's silicone. It's safe to use, non-toxic, and it can be used in the oven, in the freezer, or even on the stove in water. It's an endlessly reusable Ziploc bag that does no harm to the environment.
Zach, don't you want to take the figs out? Already on it. Cool. Janisha, what small and sustainable ways can anyone reduce their waste consumption? There's so many simple things, Zach. I mean, if we just have a look at the spread that we have here, starting with the tiffin or carrying your own containers. It doesn't have to be something as fancy as this, even your normal lunch tins from home to get takeaway foods or to pack leftovers, simple things like that. Or using a glass straw or bamboo straw instead of using a plastic straw, carrying your own water bottle and filling up at home or while you're out on the go. Not using plastic plates when you're going out for a picnic. Use things like a bamboo bowl or a wooden bowl and other little things like plastic bags. I mean, a trillion plastic bags are used worldwide per annum. Why is it important to choose consciousness over convenience? Well, Zach, in terms of plastic, I mean, plastic is actually a fantastic invention. However, it's our abuse of plastic in terms of our single-use, throwaway, culture that has created a global crisis. Janisha, thank you so much for the wonderful day and all the information. It was lovely spending time with you today. Let's tuck in. Oh, I don't even know where to start. I'll start with the cherries. Wow.